let's continue with that and get into some more complex some more complex ordering um, and let me grab my slide here so um, I don't misspeak Here we are sorting in reverse directions. That is, we want to sort it by vegetation from low to high, but worm density from high to low within vegetation. So what this serves to achieve is, and note when you sort a factor, uh, it, uh, it sorts it alphabetically arable comes before grassland comes before meadow these are the values the levels but when you have ties it's reversing it for worm density so let's do that so we do that it's this one or an another thing you can do is if you want vegetation first but you want it backwards the default is A to Z and you want worm density also backwards but within vegetation being backwards you can't you cannot just simply put a negative sign in front of vegetation be, because it's not numeric because it's a factor, the way to manipulate it and reverse the order is to use the rank function, a negative rank. You can just simply use a negative sign with worm density because it's numeric. So this will cause the vegetation factor levels to go Z to, Z to A and just a negative sign would not work and density also to go high to low R R does not like to do that R will sort always sort something letters before numbers lowercase letters before uppercase numbers and um, numbers you know A to Z for the letters and one, uh, zero up for the numbers you can also we could do this if we said order let's try this we said order this should order it by vegetation worm density within but if we try and do this let's try it if we say negative we we get a we get a error because it's a factor so you have to use rank if it's a factor and you're trying to sort it sort that column okay what else can we do um, let's um, take a look and remember what we have so we're going back uh, we have a couple of data sets now we have new and worms and um, new there's new and worms Okay, so let's um, grep is will search and find a match. Grep is one of the eight functions that are uh, specific to text manipulation, text mining. I I'd have to take a look at my notes to remember what they all are but grep is like in the Unix world and is the simplest of those functions what it will do is it will take the <laughs> the first argument the string which is the first argument and it will return the indexes of the matches so if we look at names so let's look at names first um, so here are our names and if we say grep, grep the names that have an S, 
Note it's returning indexes, three and five. The third one had a capital S, and the fifth one has a capital S. I believe you have to say values equal true, and it's not that, oh, hang on, maybe it's value. This is what I get for trying to do it on the fly. Yep, value equal true. If you say value equal true, instead of returning the index, grep will actually return the value that matches, which makes more sense to humans, uh, certainly to me. Okay, so if we use grep, in this case, we want it to return indexes because we're going to bury it here in a subscript. So grepping S in the column subscript will return the columns that have S in the name. So you can do a text search with grep. You can also do other things.